All right, so how do I uh, utilize this hammer? Or do I didn't get the hammer yet? It's like Twister for your hands. I know, right? It's Twister. Yeah, Twister. There we go. Interact. All right. Do it again. The hammer is just a relic. All right. Well, we already have the hammer skill, right? Isn't that one of our upgrades that we got? Yeah, the rot hammer. We got that. That was one of the first things we got. Yeah, it's one of these relics. Go up the ramp. I found my tools just where I left them. They should come in handy. Don't mind me. I'm just leading my water elemental around. Getting everything moist. Everything's becoming moist. Because there's really not much for it to do. Hello. I found my tools. Just where I left them. It should come in handy. I'm not gonna lie, that's a cool little crafting table they got there. That's pretty sweet. <gasps> Definitely gotta be a way to get in there somehow. But nothing else over here? In this little courtyard? Strange though, they give you the ability to turn into the water snake, and there was only one thing to kind of uncorrupt. Usually, there's multiple things you can do. That looks like a secret in there, too. I'm finding secrets in places where there's no secrets. When our land began to struggle, I left to search for supplies. My journey took me far across the sea. Adira stayed behind to help the village. I made her promise to move on without me if I didn't make it back. The villagers would need her help to build a new home. It must have been hard for her, not knowing my fate. But you're fine. When our land began to struggle, I left to search for supplies. My journey took me made her promise to move on without me if I didn't make it back. The villagers would need her help to build a new home. It must have been hard for her. Okay. <laughs> she said it again without the echo that time. It was easier to understand. Uh, all right. What's over here? Is that the way we're going to go? Go down first? Not over here first? Yeah? There's so much to do over here. Okay. First. We'll go down first. Oh. Okay. Bloop. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I think that's a miss. Yep. Okay, then we raised the water level completely And I fell in it Well look at that yeah. Golly! We got goodies I got some goodie bears look at a little rot just drowning in the water now so weird to be able to like jump in water after playing new world all week it's like oh i don't have to be afraid of the water anymore spirit mail nice all right thanks for telling me to come down here first what are you guys looking at like, we're looking at the big tower. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> All right, hope I didn't miss anything in here. You love the spirit mail? Such a fun mechanic. What, finding stuff that unlocks, like, things on your map? So which one did it unlock? It unlocks this house here. Yeah. So now we have a new section of our main village. That we can check out. Yeah, no, it is satisfying, like, seeing things in your playthrough and not being able to get there and then unlocking them later and being like, oh, now I can go there finally. It's definitely, there's something, there is something fun and satisfying about that. What are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, there's stuff in there. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We'll figure a way in. Imagine how much like QA there has to be to make sure like all right So they have a specific way they wanted us to puzzle our way to get into this house, but like how to stop How to stop people from like jumping on barrels and getting in a different way You're pretty sure you didn't get in there the right way? Yeah, and I guess that's another part of it, too, is, like, sometimes it's okay to let the players do it in their own way. This is the way they probably meant it to be done, like that. Meditation! I like how meditating is what increases your health. Oh... All right, just climb out. I went through the floor. That's a warp zone. I don't know if I need to touch it to unlock it or not. There's one more thing before I leave. Okay. Like before I go there. One more time. Look around for one of the flowers. What kind of flowers? What are we talking about? Oh, like a flower to like zip up to, like a zip line. Hmm. 
Hmm. I found it. All right, it closes when you're down here. Interesting. That's a tricky one. That's a tricky little secret right there. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. <laughs> Flower? Oh, man. It's supposed to be like in the air and then it unlocks. <laughs> Ooh. Is that a halo? Nice. Very cool. Thank you. I did not want to miss that, that's for sure. All right, let's take the elevator. See that over there? See that over there? She chose down. She chose down. Was that wrong? Too late now. chimes treasure chest thank you another mask oh no it's an ox rod hat very cool so now we can have the rufus the rufus hat came from I got turned around in that building turn around every now and then box goes the wrong way and everybody frowns cooking glacial sin nice i just about hit that last night i had to go seek out a town in new world that actually had a tier three kitchen set up so that i could i made like 200 light meals at once what are you guys cooking all you can make is rations it seems rations are the best way to level up to 50 i think the light rations and then when you get to 50 you want to make light meals but you have to go to a town that has a level three kitchen fortunately you can see which towns have the different level stuff when you're just hovering over them yeah so 50 when it opens up a bit i mean you can make all kinds of different things on the way but they're not they're not proficient they're not um efficient for leveling yeah There, if you just search, uh, like, New World, you know, armoring guide or whatever one you want, they're, they're already they're already telling you which is the most efficient things to, like, level in number. Yeah. 
but I made like 200 light meals yes last night. I was like, finally, I can use all these blueberries and cranberries I've amassed. Oh, okay. That's a strong current. That's a strong current. I like the one rot that rides on my head. You wish there was a company bank or something you could put all the food in, I know. I just throw it in my own storage for now. All right, I'm just going to head back over here for one second. Make sure there's nothing else at the beginning here that we missed. What if I go up this way? No, there's stuff up this way. I guess this is a whole... This is a whole thing. Very corrupty. Well, looks like our druid's work is cut out for us. Curse chest. 15 enemies before time runs out. This is going to be hard if they don't spawn them quick enough. close oh it counts up oh how many do I have to kill defeat 50 oh 15 oh okay so they'll just keep spawning so we gotta kill these quicker quick 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 Wow. 
This one might be tough without a certain ability. Yeah, I was thinking maybe when I've unlocked all my talents, it'll be a little easier. Uh, Dion Aja, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. Oh, another spirit mail. Oh, nice. Try, try again. Let's try again. Yeah, I wish they were more like if there was a whole bunch of enemies all together, I could use that ability to really like spread out the AOE. And, like I could use this and do AOE. Like right now, I get a, I guess I'm getting three of them. and I was feeling pretty good about that too. <laughs> we'll come back later. So where is this? It's up here near... I don't know. I don't even know where I am in the world. Up here somewhere. Okay, so we came up this way. So you never got that uh, even with all the abilities? You want to head to the blue dot, don't you think? I think so. But this whole area is new, so. Trying to find all the things. Like you do. Nothing I can do here. So this would slide us back down to the other area. You're missing one hat and three rot. Oh, that's it. Wow. You played a lot of it. You did all the things. I can't remember if we were in here or not. Ooh. The answer is no. New hat. I don't know what that is. Oh, sneaky fruit. Nice. It's the sneaky fruit hat. It's too cute. All right. Into the caves. Maybe. Blum, blum, blum. <laughs> hey, that was a pretty good shot. That wasn't bad. Six. So these fields that if I bring our little water snake over, I could probably do. Uh oh, badness. <laughs> I gotta rethink the hole in their shield. What's up? Oh my god, that's a lot of rot. I know normally that would be like the most horrible thing 
for somebody to say. Oh my god! It's so much rot, but yeah, no, we've got a lot. Lots of rot. Oh, oh hi. No healing! I hate when you heal. No killing. I should be able to interrupt the heal. Okay. Oh, I just died. Woo! Hey, other guy, what's going on? You finally got to the Shadow Demon in Wrath of the Righteous and Lan used the arrow and one-shot it for 153 because of a crit. And did you feel like cheated of the experience seeing what I went through on that fight? Or were you like, yes? So I don't even know where that fight was now. I hate when the checkpoints are like all weird. Okay, we went over here. We did this. Oh, they have to do redo this? No, though. The mushrooms are there. And kind of, but you got enough of it watching you. Yeah. But congrats, though. That's a tough fight. Where was that? I think it was over here. Mayhu uh, says, I just completed Corrupted Tarot on Master Difficulty. It was so hard. Is what, is what What? What am I on? What difficulty am I on? I forget what it's called. Expert. Okay, so Master is after you beat the game? I can't even imagine what that's like. Thank you. I hate this healing bastard. You may be alone, I'm killing the wizard. You. Mother. There, he's dead. Now I'm gonna die to the other stuff. I know it. Oh! Oh my god. Imagine, imagine if I didn't dodge that. Woo! That was spicy. Shake it up. The other guy says, I will be honest. Had I not watched you do it, I probably would have spent a good two to three hours trying to do it without the arrow. See, <laughs> they gave me that arrow. And I said at the time I would never use it. And then they gave me the perfect fight to use it. And I was very satisfied. I'm like, I needed it for that fight. 100%. I was happy with my choice. Yeah. Yeah, bring that over here. Bring it right there. Throw that in there. There we go. All right, what, do we, what kind of corruption we got? What are we getting rid of? Oh, we're gonna plant all the things.
How do you know when you're like done with a patch? Oh, that's how I guess. All right, I'll make a little noise like that. Let me release some. What you guys got? Oh, you found a rot in the pumpkin? Okay. Look at him. Happy Halloween. There's a screenshot for it. That was cute. All right. So could I take the rot snake? This is a weird phrase. Uh, I don't think I could get it all the way over here. Could I? Wait, there was a hat too? Can I get him? Can I get him to go all the way up here? I got a pumpkin hat. I didn't even see it. Yeah. That's cute. Do you guys know? Can I get that snake, that uh, water snake, to go all the way over there? Harold says, "Bog, how would you rank this next to say Immortals: Phoenix Rising, or is it too easy to compare? Similar type games. Um, Immortal Phoenix Rising is more funny." Like, the story in it and the characters will make you, like, laugh or cringe from their humor. Um, this game is definitely more rooted in, um, spirituality and emotion. They both have this kind of, like, world that, you know, unlocks, um, through getting your different abilities and, um, you know, you can kind of do things in different order. A lot of things to collect in both of them. This game has a lot less grunting. Um, and whereas Immortal Phoenix Rising has a whole lot of just random enemies everywhere. That you're, you're constantly, you know, you can do battle like constantly. This game has specific fights, challenges at certain points. So... It's a little bit more um, planned out in terms of the fighting, yeah. If you're fast enough, you guess? I just wonder if that's the way to do it. Let's see. But they're very similar games. I do recommend both of them a lot. This game is not as big as Immortal Phoenix Rising. Immortal Phoenix Rising has a, uh, a dizzying amount of content, especially because they've had two DLCs, I think. Oh, there's nothing here to grow. Are you serious? <laughs> I brought you all the way over here. So I'm assuming that this one is a lost cause too. Okay, any other corruption or things we want to make grow? Oh, bad stuff. So this is we can get, I think, with the water snake. Actually, maybe not. It's kind of far, right? Let's see. Let's just continue exploring and then we'll see what happens. Maybe there's a different place we can get said water snake. Get that. The lack of grunting is a selling point. Yeah. No, the, the grunting in Phoenix Rising was very distracting. Very. But I definitely feel like that uh, Phoenix Rising and uh, this game 
are definitely have similarities. It's definitely something you can compare. Is there anything up here I missed? Is there a way to go in the bottom section? Yes, there it is. There we go. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All right, that's if we slid down over there. We can get down here. It's the pumpkin hat. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally like not getting my goal of going to the village heart entrance. Kind of gotten lost in this whole section here. Uh, let's try though. Let's get this. Behind this house? Yes. And they keep giving me like tons of this hat currency, which you just don't need that much of. way back up. I feel like there's a lot more to do in this whole section. I do have to unlock all the things. L2, R1, and then press square to form a rot-infused bomb. Release the heavy attack with precision to deal massive damage. Let's try it. Okay, so right when it blinks. There we go. That was it. Slightly different sound effect. going in the cave? No, we went in this cave already. As I thought. Oh no, okay. maybe I didn't. I've got the plate working, so you should be able to activate this door. Are you sure? Money, I know, right? Oops. Oh, come on. Is that a crystal? my goal is. Let's see what this does. Did 
Did I get them all or no? You had to look up this puzzle? Oh, good. That gives me confidence. Let's see what's over here. <laughs> if I need help, no, I would like to try to figure it out. All right, so we have a door over here. that does anything all right we'll see that later Meditation. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at this meditation spot. I can meditate if it wasn't for that bloop, 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 bloop noise. <laughs> I wanted to just freak out. Would you shut that off? You like how the rot do it here too? Yeah, look at them. They're all being peaceful. Ah, I'm so refreshed. Get that TikTok noise out of my mo out of my brain. try to figure out this puzzle so we've got one crystal here one here one there Another relic must be close. Where does this lead? The village heart. Energy flows from the mountain and gathers in a vast network of caves beneath the farmland. Adir and I found a way to collect and focus that energy. These caves were at the core of our work. And how about you just tell me how to open the door then? I can't go down there. Too much beauty broken and destroyed. I'd rather remember this place as we built it. I can't go down there. Okay, fine. You can't go down there. You got that, it flips it around. Then I can shoot this.
Do I have to do it all while standing right here? Do I have to do it all from standing in this spot? Okay, so when I stood on there and lit these up. Hmm. I'm not sad that you're also struggling with this. It's been three minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what my goal is. I'm trying to find my context clues. All right, so when I step on this thing, these things flip around. Okay, but shooting all three of these does nothing. Okay, so we got to step on here and then activate them somehow. Uh, so that looks like I'm activating it. Flip that around, activate this. Hey, I said activate this. Activate that. Seem to activate a little. This one have a another piece to it? No. I didn't do it first try. Therefore I must be struggling, yes. I'm struggling. if I have to hit this same crystal in two different positions or not. Hmm. Hold on, I need my arrows back. You're not judging. You had to watch a sticky video to get this. I'm glad you didn't just walk up and instantly understand what to do. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. You didn't you didn't want uh watching me to make you feel bad. So you're 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 in good company. <laughs> it is not immediately obvious. Okay, so shooting that 67. Ooh. You've stayed a while and listened. You stayed a while and listened. Caitlin Wyler, what's up? How you doing? Thanks for the 67. You already feel bad. It made me so mad that I couldn't figure it out. Hmm. So there's these two. So there's two crystals over on this side. And it looks like two crystals on this side too. And then this one flips around to different ways. And does this have anything to do with anything? Let's go back up here for a moment, if we can. Get up there. What does this do? Looking for more crystals. Wow, okay, so wait. Oh. 
pulsing makes those two light up. over here okay so i think we already have all the pieces there's no like i think i'm missing what about the one behind you what does it when i pulse does it do anything yeah it hits that one that one and that one so where's the one that makes these pulls get it to connect and go all the way around and when if it goes all the way around and then i step on the circle does it light it up maybe 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 and then i have to spin this all right hold on hold on can i extend the time that you're up in the air by doing that All right, here we go. Let's light this up. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Come on, come on, come on. Light it up. It doesn't go over there. Do I have to be standing here? I think I'm close. Hi, Elf on a Shelf, what's going on? Sorry, I've been so absorbed in this puzzle, I wasn't looking at chat. Hey, Sassy. You watched Rotor do this for like 30 minutes? All right, no spoilers. I think we're getting closer. Okay, so throw this up in the air. Throw this one up in the air. Hit this. It doesn't actually like, when I shoot it, it doesn't reverberate. Oh, there we go. Oh man, we got that first one lit up. Go up in the air, please. So it gets that one. Oh my God, my bombs don't go far enough. Go. Yes! Finally. Okay. That was tricky. Very tricky. pretty cool though <laughs> I was aiming the wrong way the camera's like no we want to show you this oh there's the heart of the village a heart full of love hey 
Thanks, Mar. Yeah, that was uh, that was not that was not so obvious. All right, let's go. Okay. A little bit of a leap of faith. <laughs> okay. I'll go down the hole. Uh, okay. Perfect. What is that? Interesting. Glowy rocks are supposed to do. Okay. They're just lighting? Okay. But after that one puzzle we just did, it seems like they should be a little bit more important than just lighting. More hat juice. Okay, curse chest. Defeat the wood knight. Well, hello. Okay, that hurt. I fell off. Something tells me that's gonna reset. I just reset it. You did the same thing? How funny. Fell right off. I don't even see what I got hit by. Um, where'd they put me? <laughs> the 
<laughs> I hate the checkpoints sometimes. They put me somewhere. I'm like, I don't know where I am. Death should not be so confusing. <laughs> 